is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. For I say unto you, among those that are born of women, there is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist. But he that is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. And all the people that heard him and the publicans justified God, being baptized with the baptism of John. Now that was wisdom, wasn't it? They justified God. It's wisdom to justify God and get baptized. But the Pharisees and lawyers rejected the counsel of God against themselves. They self-destructed. This is self-destruction. When you reject the counsel of God, you're self-destructing. It says against themselves. Being not baptized of him. That is the definition of self-destruction. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. He says against themselves. Self-destruction against themselves. When you reject or refuse the wisdom of God, you're self-destructing. Satan rejected the counsel of God, and he's here in the earth causing confusion. And it's a matter of time before he ends up in hell. He's self-destructed. And he's trying to cause all of us to self-destruct. But not me. Wisdom from above. Amen? But the Pharisees and lawyers rejected the counsel of God against themselves, being not baptized of him. Now let's go to Acts chapter 19. Acts chapter 19 and verse number 1. Acts chapter 19 and verse number 1. These are people that were baptized with the baptism of John. But that wasn't enough. Because John was preparing the way for who? Jesus. Jesus. John was preparing the way for Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus, and finding certain disciples, he said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? And they said, Unto John's baptism. So they were baptized unto John. They did not reject the counsel of God. But look what happened. Then said Paul, John barely baptized with the baptism of repentance said unto the people that they should believe on him, should believe on Jesus Christ, should believe on him who should come after him, that is, on Jesus Christ. They should be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. They should be baptized unto Jesus. He had to reteach them, didn't they? And look at what they did. Did they reject the counsel of God or did they accept it? When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. They didn't say, I got baptized unto John. I don't need Jesus' name baptism. They didn't get a bad attitude, did they? Yeah. They didn't reject the counsel of God against themselves. But they accepted the counsel of God. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. God rewarded them with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Isn't that beautiful, Bruce? Yeah. God rewarded me with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Because I, Elder Tony Hyman, did not reject the counsel of God. I humbled myself down under the mighty hand of God. And I got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And I have no regrets. Do y'all have regrets? No. Anybody got regrets for being baptized in that name? Anybody got regrets for being filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost? No. Anybody got regrets for living a clean, holy life? Anybody got regrets for church trusting in the name of Jesus? I don't have any regrets today, but I got joy today. Hey! 
says, trust in me. Understand wisdom. Do you understand now? Yeah. Do you understand wisdom just a little bit more than you started before church? Yeah. If you do, I did my job. Yeah. Let's pray. Precious Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for those who are logged in all over the world. We pray, Lord, that you would deliver them from destruction, deliver them from trusting in things that are not godly. But God, give them a mind to trust in you, to repent of their sins, to get baptized in your name, and to be filled with the precious, powerful gift of the Holy Ghost. And we continue to say, peace, be still. Thank you for controlling the weather. Thank you for removing the storms. Thank you for blessing us today. Thank you for putting your guardian angels around about us. We trust you, O oh God. And we lean not into our own understanding. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace in yes. Jesus' name. God bless you. And as always, we are expecting our great God to do great things for us. Great power and great grace. Acts chapter 4, verse 33. God bless y'all out there Amen. in Jesus' name.